you like your system variables a certain way and I like my system variables a certain way. But one thing that I think we can both agree on is that we don't like it when something comes along and changes our system variables without us knowing about it. Am I right? All right, so I'm gonna share with you a way to make sure that doesn't happen. And that is with the system variable monitor, all right? And it's a little top secret. It's not even in the ribbon, all right? So how do we get to it? We're gonna key it in. It's the sys var monitor, right, top secret, <laughs> just between you and me. So if you take a look at this, you'll see it's pre-populated with uh, some system variables that when they're modified, it could go very badly for you. <laughs> that according to the uh, Autodesk product support department. And you can set this up any way you want to. You can add, you can remove. It's very simple to edit this list. And here's a list of all the system variables. You just pick any of them that are important to you. Um, for example, maybe I want, uh, let's see, I'm a big fan of MT jig string. Let's put this one, let's put that one over on the list, all right? And then if it gets changed, AutoCAD's gonna let me know, all right? You can see that I added that in there. I added, I changed my MT jig string to AutoCAD. If you don't know what it is, you're gonna have to look it up. You can see these are all the preferred settings. So when it gets changed, I have it set up so it will notify me with a bubble in the lower right-hand corner as well, a balloon notification as well as it's gonna let me know at the command prompt, all right? All right, let's say okay. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. So I have a list routine called burst2. It's a lot like burst, which is a express tool, right? An express tool. I'm sure many of you are familiar with it. It allows me to explode a block with attributes. It keeps the attribute values. It does not put it back to the attribute tags. Okay, so um, I modified it. I messed it all up. I called it burst two. I'm gonna go ahead and run this. It's still gonna work. It's going to explode this block and this block, it's gonna keep the attribute values but other bad things are gonna happen. It wasn't a well-written list routine. We've all seen those. We've all had those happen to us. Now, here's my balloon notification right here. You'll see that it says, hey, something has been changed behind your back. Okay, I'm gonna ignore that for right now. Let me show you what happened. All right, I'm going to go into the open command. Okay, I, could, I don't know why I typed it in, because I would never type it in. But nevertheless, I want you to see that it's giving me the command line interface to select a file. Do any of us even know how to do that? Here we go, here's open right here. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how to key, I don't know the directory structure anymore. We're so spoiled, we're used to selecting them from the file dialog box, right? So file dia got turned off. Oh no, that's a terrible, terrible thing. Let's go back into the sysvar monitor and let's take a look. You will see here, alert, alert. It tells us there's a problem here with file dial. Just like I mentioned, it's supposed to be on. It got turned off with that list routine that was badly written. So I'm just gonna say reset all and now the world is a beautiful place. All right, I love that. Nothing can happen behind your back anymore. And that is always a good thing. Try the SysVar monitor. Set it up with all of your favorite, favorite system variables so that they can never get changed behind your back ever again. And that's going to make AutoCAD a wonderful place to hang out.